California Coastal Commission would never allow this good idea. Sorry. Uh, I have a problem with the never say never, Matt. I'll give you a couple. The Berlin Wall, never coming down. It's never coming down. I lived in Germany when I was a kid in the 70s. My dad, PhD in German theater history, spoke fluent German, re, re, uh, translated research papers. And him and his friends, highly intelligent men, academics. Remember listening to them talk in the early to mid 80s going, the Berlin Wall is never, and I mean never coming down. Really? Lee Camp and I did a show at the uh, Cosmic Comedy Club in what was formerly East Berlin. We just did a show in October. Go listen or watch the Berlin show. We literally were on the other side of the wall. So when you tell me never, my friend, I'm sorry. Anything is possible. What you think is impossible, can it, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. 2008 election, it's going to be, who do they think? It was going to be Hillary Clinton and John McCain or whatever. It would be locked, locked, done deal. Anything can happen. Anything's possible. We're never putting a man on the moon. That's never happening. We're never, that's never happening. It's never happening. So I, I don't believe in the, and never say never, my friend. Are you right that the California Coastal Commission will, will try to block this and say no to this at every turn? Absolutely. You're right there. You're totally right there. I'm not saying I have faith in the California Coastal Commission. <laughs> I agree with you on that. But where there's a will, there's a way. This is why I'm talking about we got to get creative. We got to get creative. And I don't know exactly what the solution to get the California Coastal Commission to do this, but that's where you have third party people making sure a third party person runs for the California Coastal Commission. Kenneth Mejia ran for LA City's comptroller. He ran as a green in 2018, right? He ran as a green in 2018 and didn't win and thinks, how can I really affect change in the city of Los Angeles? I'm going to handle the budget. I never would have thought of that. Have a green run to take care of the LA city budget. His whole Instagram, follow him. He's amazing. His whole Instagram is showing we're wasting money on the cops. We're wasting money on this. We're wasting money on that. He's like, it's unreal. I'm loving the perspective, Graham. Great attitude. Yeah, that's the attitude we got to take, Matt. Anything's possible, man. When I was a kid, my dad took us to Dachau. I was a six-year-old boy, too young to go to Dachau. And I was like, this is awful. This is awful. This, and I was just as a kid, I was like, These, the Germans are awful. They fucking put people in ovens. It was just horrifying. And then there was a wall. We went to East, East Germany. We went to the uh, checkpoint, Charlie. There's an East German guard in a tower with machine guns. And I'm a little kid and I see these little pictures along the side of the wall. I said, dad, what's that? Oh, those are people that tried to jump over the wall and they got shot. What? What? And I just did a show there. I just did a show in East Germany. You put them in the Great Lakes and generate power. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Anything is possible. Germany that went from the Nazis to the Holocaust to the Berlin Wall. Berlin is now this arts community, like which is what it was in the 20s and 30s. An English-speaking comedy club in fucking East Berlin, man. I'm sorry. It was amazing. It was. I was like, anything's possible. And I had all this anger towards the Germans, and we were treated so well. Because I, when I was a kid, when I was six years old, I had to fight the Germans. They hated us. They hated us. Because we were there in the in 75, 76. So literally 30 years after the end of World War II. So these kids in school that hated me because I was American, well, now as an adult, I understand their perspective. Their dads and uncles and grandfathers probably fought and were killed by Americans. And Americans bombed their towns. And American soldiers raped some of their women because RGIs did awful stuff too. That just gets wiped from the history books. So it changed my perspective, man. Anything can happen, Ron Placone. So it's great. 
So I appreciate your, your comments and questions, Matt. I really do.